But it is not only in bringing harmony or removing this ease into the organism. It is creation of super, superior beings, beings that are totally the natural image of what the Creator has been inspired to impregnate the cosmos with. The populations of life forms that all of them have inherent within it physical immortality, and to us, we have evolved into the level of intelligence that we can once again connect to this orchestration that gives us endless opportunity to live out our passion and our dharma, manifest ourselves in every dimension until we are finished with this level of architectural experience and move on into other more interesting esoteric vibrational uninhabited to be explored territories of consciousness. It is a beautiful ability to jump off the wheel of incarnations and make this your last incarnation because you can do it all with live food and fasting. <laughs> Presently, the two top diseases that are creating rampant conditions are cardiovascular diseases followed by cancer. Interestingly, our flagship enzyme, our flagship nutrient, is being heralded in the research community. Dr. Chinpo Kim showed over 80% success in recovery through enzymatic therapies of all forms of cancer with five-year follow-up. Just recent, last year, two studies were published. One of them was not only using enzymes, but also enzymatic nutrition. The other one was using singularly the enzymatic supplementation. And it was in treatment of pancreatic cancer. This is the most aggressive form of cancer that had nearly 100% success. It is not at all surprising that the old ways are not only not working, but they're counterproductive to life. Dr. Harold Jones, a cancer statistics specialist at University of California, Berkeley, in his research, he brought out the average life expectancy with traditional therapies of radiation, chemotherapy, and surgery. It is only three and a half years. If you do nothing, it is 12 years. <laughs> Similarly, the Helsinki study with high blood pressure medication and cholesterol lowering medication. They showed the 10 year study lowering uh, your overall performance and more degenerative diseases came in to haunt you. Higher rate of suicide as well as higher incidence and earlier death than the control group which took no medication. We are basically looking at the third leading cause of death, and that is medical intervention. These are great people with good hearts overall. Sad to say, their, their own level of study has prepared them, but prepared them in such a way that they truncate their life by 25 years less than the average for the rest of the population as far as longevity. They are also prone to all the diseases that are rampant among the drug culture. They're no different than the street drug dealers, except they can do it legally. Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine, over 4,000 medical doctors has stated very clearly, not only is vegan diet adequate, but anything contrary to vegan diet is contrary to good health.
These are high profile medical doctors who have done their research. The medical community offers great survival strategy for broken bones and uh, enhancing your overall appearance, doing all kind of wonderful dental work and other assistive interventions. However, they become unnecessary eventually, even the accidental problems, which were good, well exemplified within the Eskimo culture, which basically means one who eats raw.